Important Sastras in Buddhism. 1. Sata Sastra. Skt. Colon. Sata Sastra by Deva Bodhisattva. Two books. Sata Sastra was one of the three sastras of the Madhyamika school, so called because of its 100 verses, each or 32 words. Attributed to Deva Bodhisattva, a pupil of Nagarjuna. This treatise is mainly a refutation of the heretical views of Brahmanism. It was written in Sanskrit and explained by Vasubandhu and translated into Chinese by Kumarajiva, but the versions differ. The is also the Katuzataka Sastrakarita. Skt. And expansion of the Satisastra. 2. Divadasanikaya Sastra. Skt. Colon. Divadasanikaya Mukha Sastra by Nagarjuna, one book. The Divadasanikaya Sastra or the Twelve Gates was composed by Nagarjuna, which is not known in Sanskrit, but is preserved in Chinese translation. It has twelve chapters in all, and is devoted chiefly to correcting the errors of the Mahayanists themselves at that time. 3. Mahaprajnaparamita Sastra. Skt. Colon. Mahaprajnaparamita Sastra by Nagarjuna, 100 books. Sastra. Commentary. On the Prajna Paramita Sutra. It is a famous philosophical Mahayana work. As the San Lun school is much inclined to be negativistic idealism. There arose the more positive school, called Shi Lun or Four Treatise School, which adds a fourth text by Nagarjuna, namely, the Prajnaparamita Sastra. This sastra is composed of 100 books ascribed to Nagarjuna on the Greater Prajna Paramita Sutra, in which we see that Nagarjuna established his monistic view much more affirmatively than in any other text. In Nagaruna's commentary on the Mahaprajna Paramita there is an annotation of the fundamental principles. All conditioned things are impermanent. Sava Sanskara Anityam. Semicolon. All elements are selfless. Sava Dharma Anatman. Semicolon. And Nirvana is quiescence. Nirvana Santam. In which it is said that these, three law seals. Signs of Buddhism. Can be extended to four by adding another, all is suffering. Sava Dukam. Or can be abridged to one, true state, seal. The, true state, may be translated as, Numenon. This school interprets the true state as no state or no truth, but it does not mean that it is false. No truth or no state here means that it is not a truth or a state established by argument or conceived by thought but that it transcends all speech and thought. Again, Tian Tai interprets it as one truth. Eka Satya. But one here is not a numerical one. It means, absolute. The principle of the Tian Tai doctrine centers on this true state of all elements. However, all texts from San Lun and Shi Lun are being from Nagarjuna's hand, the general trend of metaphysical argument is much the same. The Sastra was translated into Chinese by Kumarajiva in around 397 to 415 A. D. 4. Vibhasa Sastra. First, the Vibhasa Sastra. Vibhasa is an abbreviation of the title of the Abhidharma Mahavibhasa Sastra. This philosophical treatise was composed by Katyayaniputra, translated into Chinese by Sanghaputi around 383 A.D. According to Professor Junjiro Takakusu in The Essentials of Buddhist Philosophy, probably in the 2nd century A. D. Whether before or after the Buddhist Council of King Kaniska's reign, we cannot tell. A great and minute commentary named Vibhasa Sastra was compiled on Katyayaniputra's work. The word, Vibhasa, means an extreme annotation or various opinions. And this title indicates that many opinions of the time were gathered and criticized in detail and that some optional ones were selected and recorded. 
The main object of the Vibhasa commentary was to transmit the correct exposition of the Abhidharma school which has since then come to be called the Vivasika school. Second, the Mahavibhasa Sastra. Abhidharma treatise, names one of the two works. Mahavibhasa and Vibhasa. Considered as fundamental by the school of Sarvastivada. They are two important commentaries on the Abhidharma of the Sarvastivada school. The Sanskrit text is no longer extant, but it does exist in two Chinese versions. It is an important source of information concerning Buddhism during that period, as it mentions many differing philosophical positions of a number of schools. Third, the Dasabhumaka Vibhasa Sastra. The Sastra was composed by Nagarjuna, discussed and explained the course of the development. Ten stages of a Bodhisattva. One of the most important chapter in Avatamsaka Sutra, was the doctrinal basic of the early Chinese Pure Land Schools. It was translated into Chinese by Kumarajiva. Commentary on the Dasambhumaka, explaining and composing the course of a Bodhisattva. Boom! By Vasubandhu, translated by Bodharuchi, was the doctrinal basis of the Ti Lun School of early Chinese Buddhism. The Ten Stages of Bodhisattva Vapumi. Joyful Stage or Land of Joy, or Ground of Happiness or Delight. Immaculate Stage or Land of Purity, or Ground of Leaving Filth. Land of Freedom from Defilement. Radiant Stage or Land of Radiance, or Ground of Emitting Light. Blazing Stage or the Blazing Land, or the Ground of Blazing Wisdom. Hard to conquer stage or the land extremely difficult to conquer, or the ground of invincibility, face to face stage or land in view of wisdom, or the ground of manifestation. Going far beyond stage or the far reaching land, or the ground of traveling far. Immovable stage or the immovable land. Good thought stage or the land of good thoughts, or the ground of good wisdom and cloud of dharma stage or land of dharma clouds, or the ground of the dharma cloud. 5. Commentaries on Vishuddhi Marga. The path of purification or path of purity, the most famous and important post-canonical work of the Theravada. It was composed by Buddha Gosha in the 5th century. It consists of 23 chapters, outlining the Buddhist path according to the system of the Mahavihara Nikaya. It divided into three parts with 23 chapters. 1. Dividia and I from chapter 1 to 2 deal with moral discipline. Sila. Dot. 2. Division E from chapter 3 to 13 deal with meditation or concentration. Samadhi. Dot. This division describes in detail the meditation methods and objects of meditation to make development of concentration possible and fruitful. 3. Division E from chapter 14 to 23 deal with wisdom. Prajna. Dot. This section presents the fundamental elements of the Buddhist teachings such as the Four Noble Truths and the Eightfold Noble Path, etc. According to Buddhism, our mind behaves like a monkey, restless and always jumping. It is therefore called a monkey mind. These are reasons why we must have purification. To give balance to our lives it is necessary to sit quietly, to learn to accept and experience rather than to look outward for forms, we look within in order to understand ourselves better. Through cultivation we try to keep that monkey mind still, to keep it calm, quiet and pure. When our mind is still, we will realize that the Buddha is inside us, that the whole universe is inside us and that our true nature is one with the Buddha nature. So the most important task is to keep our minds quiet, a task which may be simple to understand but is not simple to practice at all. Yet practice is all important. Knowing by itself has no value at all if we do not put our knowledge into practice. In fact, the path of purification or path considerably helps practitioners in the purification of the body a nf mind on the path of cultivation. Through the purification of morality and behavior, Zen practitioners always live peacefully and tolerantly with people, not necessarily retreat in deep jungle to be away from people. 
In fact, while living in the community, we have chances and conditions to improve our morality. Therefore, a Zen beginner must be able to live together with everyone before turning into solitude life for deep meditation. That is to say, beside practicing meditation, we use the rest of our time to live nicely and kindly to people. 6. Commentaries on the Teaching of Consciousness Asanga founded the Vijnanavada school, one of the major schools in the Mahayana tradition founded in the 4th century, that emphasized everything is mental events. Dharmalaksana sect, which holds that all is mind in its ultimate nature. The doctrine of idealism school concerns chiefly with the facts or specific characters. Lakshana. Of all elements on which the theory of idealism was built in order to elucidate that no element is separate from ideation. Later, Chie Sien established the Vijnanavada school and contributed much to the arrangement of the Buddhist canons. In China, Xuan Sang, to whom Chie Sien handed over the Sastra, founded this school in his native land. Later, the school was also called Dharmalaksana. F. A. Chang Sung, and was led by Kui Chi, a great disciple of Xuan Sang. The Vijnaptamatrata Siddhi or the doctrine which teaches the psychology of the eight consciousnesses. Sight, hearing, smell, taste, touch, mind, mana and alaya. Dot. These consciousnesses enable sentient beings to discriminate between right and wrong of all dharmas. Thoughts, feelings, physical things, etc. Dot. Vasubandhu's Vijnaptamatrata Siddhi is the basic work of this system. It repudiates all belief in the reality of the objective world. Maintaining that Chitta or Vijnana is the only reality, while the Alyavijnana contains the seeds of phenomena, both subjective and objective. Like flowing water, Alyavijnana is a constantly changing stream of consciousness. With the realization of Buddhahood, its course stops at once. According to Stiramati, the commentator on Vasubandhu's works, Alya contains the seeds of all dharmas including those which produce impurities. In other words, all dharma exist in Alaya Vijnana in a potential state. The Yoga Karans further state that an adept should comprehend the non-existence of self. Padgala Nairatma and the non-existence of things of the world. Dharma Nairatma. Dot. The former is realized through the removal of passions. Klesavarana. And the latter by the removal of the veil that covers the true knowledge. Jnavarana. Dot. Both these Nairatmas are necessary for the attainment of emancipation. In the Vijnaptamatrata Siddhi, there are 20 verses on consciousness only, written by Vasubandhu in the 5th century. There exists a treatise on principle of consciousness only. A treatise on principle of mind only, name of a work of commentary written by Vasubandhu in the 5th century and translated into Chinese by Xuan Sang in the 7th century. According to this sastra, nothing but the transformation of consciousness. In the Vijnanavada school, the three subjects of idealistic reflection or the three points of view. The view which regards the seeming as real, the view which sees things as derived, and the view sees things in the true nature. The Trimsika Sastra, 30 verses on the mind-only doctrine. The Sastra was composed by Vasubandhu on the 30 stanzas of the teaching of consciousness. 7. Commentary on the Lotus Sutra. Sutra of the Lotus Flower, Sutra of the Lotus of the Good Dharma, written in the 1st century A. D. Comma. One of the most important sutras of Mahayana Buddhism because it contains the essential teachings of Mahayana. Including the doctrines of the transcendental nature of the Buddha and of the possibility of universal liberation. In many ways, the Lotus is the foundation sutra of the Mahayana tradition. It has great influence in the Mahayana Buddhist world, not only in India, but also in China, Japan, and Vietnam, where it is the favorite text of the Tian Tai, Nichiren and some other schools. Moreover, 
It expounds the way of great compassion. The Lotus Sutra represents the essence of the Mahayana tradition's fundamental orientation, which is great compassion. It is considered in the Mahayana as that sutra that contains the complete teaching of the Buddha. The Lotus Sutra is a discourse of the Buddha on Vulture Peak Mountain. Dharma Flower Sutra or the Maha Sadama Pundarika Sutra, or the Lotus Sutra, is one of the greatest sutras taught by the Buddha. Its significance is that the Buddha united all three vehicles of Sravaka Yana. Sound here a vehicle. Pratyeka Buddha Yana, and Bodhisattva Yana and said there is only one vehicle and that is the vehicle of Buddhahood. In it the Buddha shows that there are many methods through which a being can attain enlightenment such as Shravaska, Pratyeka Buddha and Bodhisattva, etc. These are only expedients adapted to varying capabilities of beings. In reality, there is only one vehicle. Buddha Yana. Buddha Vehicle. Which leads all beings to enlightenment, including Mahayana and Hinayana. The Sadama Pundarika Sutra represents the period of transition from Hinayana to Mahayana Buddhism. A large part of this sutra is devoted to proving that Hinayana Buddhism was preached by the Buddha for the benefit of people of lower intelligence, to whom the whole truth was not divulged. Hinayana Buddhists were adivised to practice the 37 limbs of enlightenment in order to rid themselves of moral impurities. To comprehend the Four Noble Truths and the Law of Causation, and to realize the absence of soul or individuality whereby they can reach a place of rest or nirvana. The Buddha then advises those who had reached perfection in these attainments to exert themselves further in their future existences, in order to acquire the merits and virtues prescribed for the bodhisattvas for the attainment of Buddhahood. The sutra was translated into Chinese by Kumarajiva. We should bear in mind that the Lotus Sutra was originally translated into Chintz by Dharmaraksa in 268 and Kumarajiva in 383 in seven volumes of 27 chapters. F. A. Sien, in quest of another chapter, started for India in 475 A. D. When he reached Khotan, he found the chapter on Devadatta, a treacherously acting cousin of the Buddha. He returned and requested F.A.I., an Indian monk, to translate it. This translation was later added to the earlier text. Thus, there are 28 chapters in the present text. In 601 A. D. J. N. Anagupta and Dharmagupta also translated this sutra into Chinese. A Tian Tai commentary on the contents and meaning of the Lotus Sutra and critical commentary on the text. Prior to the establishment of the Tian Tai school, a study of the Lotus text was commenced as early as 300 A. D. And lectures were delivered everywhere. A commentary in four volumes was completed by Chu F. A. Sung, but research into the subject matter of Lotus was started after Kumarajiva's translation of the text in 406 A. D. By noticing the many commentaries compiled in the 5th century by his pupils and successors. We can well understand and appreciate to what an extent and how seriously the study of the Lotus was undertaken. During the time eight complete commentaries were written and many special studies of particular aspects of the doctrine were made. According to Professor Junjiro Takakusu in The Essentials of Buddhist Philosophy, although the study and the work of Lotus were commenced in the north, I. E. The translation and commentaries, was begun in the north, the school of learning flourished particularly in the south, a fact which eventually gave rise to the foundation of the Tian Tai school. 11. Important commentaries in China. 1. Blue Rock Collection. Pai Yen Lu, one of the most famous and oldest Zen book of Lin Qi Zen sect. 